Well, good morning. Here we are at the dream, and I hope you had an awesome dream last night. <laughs> I had a good dream. And we here we woke up and we at the dream. Welcome to RDBS This Morning Show. We now need to go to the news desk and see what's part of the headlines. And then when we come back, we can head into our features for the day. Let's see what Kendall has for us. Good morning. 36-year-old Barry Augustine of Latok Road in Castries is the island's 10th homicide for the year. Augustine was found lifeless in a drain along the main Mourn Road on Sunday, 4th February. The family members of the deceased say that Augustine had vowed to collect money owed to him the night before he was fatally shot. Sometimes he would sell, he would give his cigarettes and stuff on credit and persons would not pay him or the most recent... Um, incident where he told my mom yesterday morning that somebody was owing him. He did, he did some, um, some yard work where he was cutting grass for somebody and that person was owing him for some time now and he told my mom he was going to get his money yesterday no matter what happened. Uncle of the deceased, Anthony Popo, describes his nephew as a hustler. In regards to his nephew's plight with individuals withholding monies owed to him, he says he advised Augustine to find more stable work. Meanwhile, the Royal Signature Police Force is investigating another shooting in Viewfort on Sunday, February 4th, about 9.10 p.m. The Viewfort Police Station responded to a shooting which occurred near the junction of Clark Street and Martin Luther King Street. At the scene, investigators encountered a male who had suffered several injuries due to a shooting. The victim, identified as a 29-year-old resident of Viewfort, was taken away from the location while investigations were conducted. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to contact the Viewfort Police Station at 285-7258 or the Criminal Investigations Department at 456-3770. Alternatively, anonymous tips can be provided by dialing 555, the crime hotline, or by utilizing the RSLPF crime application, which is available in the Google Play Store. Residents of Maynard Hill are concerned about their safety following the fatal shooting of 31-year-old Ryan Henry on Sunday. The circumstances surrounding Henry's death remain under investigation. Several residents are calling for a concerted effort to address the gun violence that appears to be spiraling out of control. As far as I can see, the, the, the whole place should really be fixed because cars could barely go up and down on that side. And that's what the, 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 the youth may be asking, where they could hide in the bushes and they could do what they have to do. Some residents believe that the nation needs to revert to its traditional Christian roots and values and to utilize mediation as opposed to weapons to resolve conflict. The Signature Medical and Dental Association, meanwhile, has raised concerns about the impact of the escalating crime levels on the public health sector. According to the SLMDA, emergency rooms and healthcare facilities are grappling with an influx of trauma cases resulting from violent incidents, putting an additional burden on an already stretched healthcare system. There are so many aspects of the system that are affected and it is becoming increasingly difficult for healthcare workers to manage the ripple effects. We are talking about increases in the number of patients presenting to the emergency room often needing to be attended by multiple persons and requiring emergency surgeries, ICU admission, blood products, prolonged hospital stays during recovery, and the list goes on. Our emergency response and ambulance service is attending to multiple trauma cases daily. All of this diverts precious time and resources from other aspects of healthcare and other persons needing to access these services. The SLMDA is also concerned about the mental health impact of the violence. The constant exposure of healthcare workers to these traumatic cases, breaking news to families and even threats, in some cases, does not bode well for the mental health of healthcare workers. In light of this, the SLMDA has urged the government of St. Lucia and all stakeholders to unite and seek to implement a holistic approach to address the crime situation, combining law enforcement efforts with community outreach programs and social initiatives. The SLMDA has pledged to assist with these efforts in whatever way it can. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Right. Thank you, Kendall. We now take a break and we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. For our 
our first feature well we happen to pop in at the dream of course this is where we are and there's a young lady who just recently this is the second day in operation she's just opened up her very own diner right here inside of this space let's let's meet janine at some point in time we hope to be dining at the diner but we are here now because we are meeting up with the proprietor Janine or okay. Janine? Is it Janine or Janine? Janine. Janine, Janine, Janine yes. is like two days in. This is yes. your, your your second or third day or uh, second, second second day. second day in. Right. Wow. Let's talk about this. Let's yes. dial back down a bit and tell us about <laughs> this dream of yours. This is yes. long in the making, I be, I presume. Um. Yeah. I've I started cooking since I was seven seven years old. I've always loved cooking. Right. And um, I've always wanted to open a restaurant. <laughs> right. And I guess here I am. Really? Yeah. Just so you it happened so quickly. <laughs> no, it happened so quickly. Honestly, it's like I saw the place. Uh -huh. I wasn't looking at the time. Right. But I went on Facebook. I was scrolling through Facebook, which is really, really rare, actually. Right. But um, I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw that this place was available. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that was literally December 29th. Okay. Yes. Yes. December 29th. 2023 mm -hmm. and then I said you know what I, I was I didn't I didn't reach out one time afterwards I spoke to my mom about this and then I decided to take it so I paid um, the deposit by January 2nd and right. yeah here I and am. here you are well mm -hmm. that's that's a brave and bold step you're, you're, mm -hmm. you know I'm saying, okay <laughs> let's let, let, let's learn a little bit more about what okay. it is where we want to know what you what what vision you had when you see the place right. and, and what now that you're open and you're a full-blown mm -hmm. running company quite busy for a second day in opening this morning yes, so yes really something right. is happening here something is, i'm doing something right <laughs> evidently yes 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 wow so um, talk to me you must be overwhelmed i am overwhelmed honestly when i opened on saturday i knew that it was a new business i wasn't expecting too much right. you know but i prayed about it yes. and then i opened that initially i had to open at 11 a.m but i was running a bit behind which made me really anxious mm -hmm. and then i started at 3 p.m from the time we started i kid you not we literally had to turn customers down towards the end of the day. Imagine yes, that. I was like, oh my god! I, I was standing on my feet for the entire day. Wow. I am really grateful, though. I had never expected for it to kick off right. like well, that. Right. Let's talk about what yeah. it is you hope that that spaces can do. What do you want to bring to people when they okay. come to, 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 to I the don't, diner? I don't want to. My thing is, I don't want to just like present you with a plate, just any plate. I want it to be an experience. I want it to be aesthetically pleasing as much as it is really tasty right you know i like i said i've been cooking since i was seven years old so i know you know my my my, my <laughs> i grew up watching bobby flay and oh. rachel ray and stuff oh, like right, that yes yeah. yeah, so and driver dinings and dives right. that's where the diner the thing yes the concepts came from i was like so sure we don't have a we don't have a diner right. you know and it just hit me literally a day after i i, I secured this place mm -hmm. the name just hit me the diner right. and what are some of the things that. that we can find on the menu at the diner? um we have uh, we have chicken and waffles i tried to have a wide variety mm -hmm. you know we have chicken and waffles we have some tacos we have the english breakfast we have um we have a list of shakes smoothies mm -hmm these teas coffees um yeah we have a breakfast menu and a lunch, and menu. lunch menu yeah so it's a mix of everything right. it's a mix of everything what yeah. what what do you would what, well based on your two year into it your two days sorry, two days it, um <laughs> what would you say is a hit amongst the customers definitely the burgers and the tacos mm. i made so many tacos on saturday <laughs> i didn't think it was humanly possible <laughs> <laughs> but yes i made a lot of tacos and burgers Right. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Those so, two are hitters. Right. Yeah. So, what, I mean, this is two days in. What do you want to say to people out there? I mean, what, come, you've got, you've got the audience, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I, I want to encourage people to come try it. It's really tasty, trust me. I'm making it, so yeah. <laughs> um, just try it. It's an experience. It's it's a beautiful space as well. It's located at The Dream, um, Bon Take Up. And yeah. Come try. Right. Are you on? Are you are you on the social media yet? Yes, yes, yes. It is um, Instagram. It's at the diner by Jeanine. Okay. Okay. So let's go check it out. Yes. Look for it, and then come on over to the Dream. That's opposite the Harbour Club. That's opposite right the Harbour Club. Like yes. Else yes. Here. Yeah. And just pop on in and look for Jeanine. Yes. All right. She's for right Jeanine. Here. Right. <laughs> Thank you.
And you know, our second feature, well, it is, you know, it's very important to us to be able to highlight areas in which we can channel the energies of our young people, especially when we see them going down the wrong path. And, you know, there's a number of avenues. We just need to tap into them and see how it is that we, as St. Lucia corporate or otherwise, can lend our support. Did you know that the St. Lucia tennis team has been doing exceptionally well? We caught up with Chris, Chris Wells. Are we here with the talk table tennis. Um, quite by accident, I happened to roll up on, on, on a certain person and we were saying, <laughs> but listen, why don't we, you know, highlight things of that sort? And she was very, very kind to flourish me with the person I needed to reach out to, which is Chris, this gentleman right here, Chris Wells. And we are honored, Chris. Um, thank you. Thank you for, for meeting with us. And uh, thank you for contacting me. Listen, man. Let me get right to the meat of things because it is my understanding that table tennis, the national table tennis team, has been doing quite well on the regional market. Yes. Well, yes. let's talk about where we are with table tennis here in St. Lucia first and let's talk about where, where the team is at and how it is that we can get more involved. Okay. Well, table tennis in St. Lucia had glory days in the 80s and we had a degree of glory days in the 90s and 2000s. Oh. However, up until 2015, we had never well penetrated at the regional level. We were good at the OECS level, but never at the regional level. Wow. And we had a young crop of athletes mm -hmm. who dedicated themselves to training hard. Some of them train like 20, 30 hours a week. Wow. You know, at, at a young age, you know, and then after doing that for a period of time, we went to our Caribbean Championships and then we got the most promising team, most improved team. And after that, like from 2017, 2018, we started meddling wow. at that level consistently. Right. Let's talk about the, 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 the last tournament that you all came. You all went with everything and female as well. You all, you all yes, captured yes, a lot of yes. stuff there. Let's talk about that one. Oh, well, in December, we, we went to the OECS Table Tennis Championships, mm -hmm. a tournament which was last held in 2013, right here in St. Lucia. And we went with a, a brand new crop of athletes who had never competed at that level before. The average age of our male team was like 16 years in an adult tournament. Right. And our female team average age was like 15 years. Wow. And we won basically all seven titles. With That's what I know, man, I hear that. I say, listen, why we, listen, we need to make some noise here. Yes. Wow, yes. impressive. Yes. What does that mean? What does that say for us? And, 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 and where are we at in terms of, right, let, let, let's, let's wait out now in terms of the public and, and, and the team. How, how, how can we continue to ensure that we, we are there with our support to ensure that these kids are, they continue to feel that kind of love because they are doing well. Yes, they are. They and are you doing yourself, well. you all are doing well. Yes, they, they are doing well. I believe that some of the things that can really help is like, let's say if, let's say, Corporate and Lucia mm. joins in, like, you know, because we have, let's say, athletes who may need the extra help. Right. Not necessarily all the time in the sport, but socially and all right. hands come together. Because at the end of the day, it's always important to create well-rounded Athletes. Some athletes may be very good in the sport, but may have other issues, whether it be right. at home or oh, financially, or you know. So, it's it's sometimes it's it's, it's very tough for them, and, and I, I I see the challenges some of them have. For example, like if they don't have running water at their home or electricity, and they're doing well wow. and stuff like that, and young athletes. Wow. But on a brighter side, I do like to stay on this. But it's important it, 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 too. I know, I know, I know it hits you, and so, I'm feeling that, feeling that as well. But yeah. it's sometimes important because sometimes when we don't drive these points home, I guess mm. that's where we get the disconnect between corporates and Lucia who we, we may need or, or the person yeah. to come on board and realize how important or how much of a difference it could make just by a little assistance. Yes. You know. Yes. So I'm happy you mentioned that part. So let's go to the bright side now. <laughs> no, just in the, the the bright side is that like having young athletes doing well. Example, the OEC Yes, ladies champion mm -hmm. is 13 years old. The wow. ladies champion, not girls champion, ladies women champion is a 13 year old. Wow. And she also won the Caribbean under 13 championship two years ago. And that we, we can take claim for that. We, we that can is take, ours. That, we yo. can take full claim. 100 percent bred Jesus and trained Christ. in St. Lucia. We also had successes with some of the young men too. Like we have a a 14-year-old boy who came second in the men's singles. Wow. He's also a former Caribbean under-13 champion. 
as wow. well. Guys, definitely. Where can we con continue to follow what's happening? The Federation is online. Where, where do we get to stay in tune? Yeah, the Federation is online. I mean, some of the younger athletes, you know, we have allowed them to grow and take charge of certain things. So some of them, they they organize, let's say, like a, the Instagram page right. and they put photos and they do things right. on, on Facebook. So what are we looking for on the, on the Instagram? Um, St. Lucia? Well, I, I personally, I'm, I'm not on... You don't understand I, what you're looking for, but we'll I find am, it. I'm on Instagram, but not on Instagram. Instagram, I not, right. you know, you I'm, more, I'm, I'm more of a Facebook Right, person, so what are we looking younger. for on Facebook? Senusha National Table Tennis Federation. Yeah, association. Right. Association. So we, we definitely need to tap into this and, and continue to follow the movement because what this is creating is is a really safe haven, like like Chris mentioned, yes. that could you know all go well for our, for our future for our children. So let's continue to put some thought and some effort and some money where our mouth is to positive things. How about that? Okay, I thought I was posing for St. Lucia, but I guess that career not working out for me. So I guess I'll just stick to fitness. Hey guys, good morning. And you guys just have to say I'm one of the nicest trainers in St. Lucia because I cater for everybody. Because right now I know they have some Lucians that are dedicated. They want to get results. And they have some St. Lucians that are just outright lazy, just want to stay in their bed. You understand? You cannot do nothing. You can pay them. You can get friends to come to the gym. They're just lazing it out. So what I'm going to do for them today, I'm going to show you whilst you're in your bed, watching basketball like a certain individual that do not want to come to work. On time, staying home, watching basketball. All right. <laughs> so we're going to show you how you can get it done in your bed, enjoying your favorite program. Let's get it popping. All right. So let's get it done. You're at your home. You're lying down in your bed. You be escalate, your slippers on. We can still get the work done. So the first, what we're going to do, we're going to do a chest press. So even if you have your pair of shoes, whatever objects you have, you're on your bed, you're going to get it done. We're going to go in a chest press, so you're going to press, maintain whatever you're pressing up above your bust chest area. And again, let's go. No, you home, you can leave one foot down. You can leave one foot down like that. You will relax. Let's go. Breathe. And remember, you're on your bed. You're getting it done. Remember I brought the bed out the last time? That one too big for the bed, so you can use my bed. <laughs> so again, remember, if you're on the build, if you're on the build, you're going to go slow. One, two. One, two, three, pause. One, two. One, two, three, pause. So that's a rep range you'd want to use if you're on the build. Again, four to six reps. If you're on the tone, you're going to go a little faster, you're going to go to 12. One, two, not too fast, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. So you realize you maintain the same range motion going up and down. Now if you want to get ripped, we're going to go to 12 to 15 reps. Let's go. You're going to go 12, 15 to 18 reps. Again, one. We're not pausing in between. Because remember, if you pause, that means you're looking to build. So we're going straight out. We want to rep. We want to burn out. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Rest. So you see the difference? I show you three ways if you want to build, if you want to tone, and if you want to get ripped. So remember, in your bed, you're going to soak your bed. So that means you have to get up and put your cloth on the floor. Or then if you, if you live in Mondido, then you can afford to buy multiple beds. Or if you live in, where are you live in? Kalisak. you're full of money. They open a new KFC there, you're good. All right. So that's one exercise you can get done. The second exercise, we go down again. Again, we put in the dumbbells together over your chest. And we're coming down slightly tipping. So even if you use your blue waters, the tip of your bottle on your chest, and you're pressing slightly up and bring it over your head. One, and bring it back down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, pause. You're going to pause there because 
a piece of action take place on the TV. So you slightly glance to the TV, you get it, and maybe you see the, the solution national word, and then you continue. Let's go. Seven. Eight. I wouldn't get until right. <laughs> Nine. Let's go. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Excellent. So, what do you think just transpired there? I had him pause. You understand? Towards your TV. However, I showed you a building process. So that means if you're going and you're repping out and you pause, that means you're resting the muscle, you're more looking to build. You're going to get a faster build instead of just going right through. Okay? So there's two exercises that can be done. So the third one, we can hit flies. Again on your bed. Now, if you want more tension in the entire body, what you'd want to do when you're laying down on your bed or on the floor, you can stretch your legs out, keep your head down, right? And you're flying out. One, two, three. You can see how solid his score is. I can stand on his score. All right? That's how solid it's supposed to be. Seven, eight, nine, ten. A variation? A different variation to give it to you one time. Going for a rip. Hold it there. Hold it. Stretch it out. Hold it there. Right there, mm -hmm. his core is intact. And I'll show you the core. I'm weighing 224. Watch how solid it is, and I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. It has to be solid because there's pressure here, there's pressure here, and it's all coming and stopping right here. It's solid right here. All right? But that is for next show. That's when, we, that's when you'll advance and you'll come and hit the membership. Are you subscribed? We're going to show all these exercises. But let's keep it bedroom style for now. All right. So, the next exercise we're going to hit with the chest again. Whilst you're on your bed, you're going to lay down. You're going to hold uh, whatever you're holding your water in a reverse format. You're going to slightly bring it down, push your chest out, bend your elbow slightly, stretch it out like this, stretch out your legs. Your legs, slight bend, slightly. Stretch your legs out and flutter kick. You hit in your core and squeeze in the chest at the same time so you can see how his chest is stretching out here and his core is being worked at the same time. Understand? Head down so he's not straining his neck. He's breathing, he's in control. You understand? You get out for three sets of 30 seconds, if you can do it, then you still hit in the chest, core at the same time. Excellent. Good job. So guys, it is not easy. Stop making excuses and saying you cannot come to the gym or you don't have money to come to the gym. Stop making excuses. So last but least, we're going to stretch out the chest at the same time. You're going to turn. You're going to turn on the stomach area. You're going to look like a plank area. However, you're going to hit it with your elbows now. Elbows. Mm -hmm. And you're going to slightly go forward, bend forward. So when you're on your elbows now and you bend forward, it's not, you're not, you're practically not going to feel it in your core, but it's more like a chest stretch area. A lot of people don't know that. When you travel to expos overseas, you get to know a lot of tricks and trade in the business. So if you slightly push your body forward, you feel, you feel it in your chest. Not your core, your chest. Again, you give a couple of seconds. And if you want it more advanced, you can slowly come back, rock it, rock it forward, rock it forward. All right, simple. So there's a lot of ways you can get fit and ripped, even whilst trying. So it is not rocket science. If you don't want to get it done, you're not too knowledge of it, come down to Boys with Lifestyle, get in touch. We're going to help you stay fit and focused. Good morning. Well, there you have it. That's our show for today. And uh, join us again tomorrow. We'll do this all over again. But we hope that this morning's features inspires you, touched you, moved you in some way or the other. But let's do it again tomorrow for another DBS This Morning. I'm Maureen.